everyone's got a different reaction to seeing the red, white, and blue. These bumps standing on end. For Kyle Fox, it's pretty powerful. I'm not a soldier, but in my heart, I would do anything for a soldier. He figures this the biggest American flag is the best way to pass that on. It's the biggest flag ever flown, as far as we know. Their organization is called Follow the Flag. And the flag they're having made here will be enormous, around a quarter acre. Yeah, I'm having a hard time sleeping at night just thinking about this thing. But it's not so much about the size of the flag hey, sunshine. as what's going into it. Boy, I'd like to see where they build that thing. And here we sit. If you don't know Gail Halverson by his given name, you might know him as the candy bomber. Unbelievable. He dropped candy from his cargo plane to the children of Berlin following World War II. There was one moment during the war that a flag really touched him. He was at a harbor full of Russian ships in St. Petersburg. But in the midst of those ships, as we walked further along, was an American destroyer. And on the top of the mast flew an American flag. And it just uh, stirred my heart. This flag you ready? will mean a lot to him, too. There we go. Those are the first stitches wow. it's on the first five-foot star going on the flag. Practice makes perfect. The organizers hope each person who sees this flag unfurled in that canyon on Independence Day gets that feeling, too. You know, we just don't want to tell a story. We want you to fill it. In Sandy, Sean Moody. What's the thrill? I'll never forget. KSL 5 News.